danger. People walk or bike along this bridge right next to the speeding traffic. So what's the solution? Well, there's a plan to add a sidewalk to the Caloosahatchee Bridge. Week News reporter Liz Byro joins us live from the base of the bridge. And Liz, this should improve safety, but what about if you're a commuter and you're driving there? Yeah, well, that's going to mean extended lane closure and traffic. But thankfully, FDOT has some tricks up its sleeve. One of those is that construction will happen in two phases, and those lane closures will only go from April until December. So that means all four lanes will be open during peak season. This one man riding his bike across the Caloosahatchee Bridge is just one example of why Florida's Department of Transportation is coughing up $25 million, a hefty chunk of change. But if you ask Diana Giraldo, you can't put a price tag on our safety. I have lost many friends um, in bicycle and pedestrian safety uh, crashes. Um, myself, I'm a bicycle crash survivor, so this is very intentional for me as well. She's the city of Fort Myers bicycle and pedestrian chairperson. The shirt was planned. The man walking across the bridge, dangerous, but good timing for the project's purpose. As cars are just whizzing by, there's no barrier for protection, nor is there a sidewalk. FDOT's Janella Newsom says construction to add the eight foot sidewalk on the side headed to downtown Fort Myers will require narrowing and restriping the four lanes. They will also add double arm lights to the median and a barrier between the sidewalk and traffic. So this type of work can only be done with extended lane closures. The good news, construction, which starts mid-April, will be done in phases. This way, all lanes will be open and work will pause during peak season. Phase one. The engineers will close the inside lanes on both sides of the bridge to construct the median improvements. This is from mid-April to early December of this year. Phase two starts April 2025 to work on the sidewalk with both northbound lanes open and just the exterior southbound lane closed. Aside the safety uh, challenges, this is an opportunity to an economic development driver. We certainly need this. We need this as a catalyst for people to be able to commute. Again, construction starts mid-April and should be done by spring of the year 2026. Now, strategic construction isn't the only way FDOT is working to mitigate traffic. All new at 7, I have the inside scoop on the alternate routes and the smart technology that can tell you when to use them. Live in downtown Fort Myers, Liz Byro, Wink News.